What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic kick butt day today so far. So guys, we have a very, very special video for you today. As you can see, we're amongst some really, really good players, but the main specific focus is going to be on Crying Man here with 1,036 Trophy Piper. Now, it's been a really long time. I've been wanting to do something on Piper for a very, very long time because I feel like it's hard to push her up. She's a very specific brawler with specific tips that you need to keep in mind in order to push her up at a very high degree. So let's take a look at where Crying Man is in the leaderboards for Piper. And that is a second place spot and very, very close to getting first place. So if we play our cards right, we should be able to get to number one in the world right now. So what I'm gonna do is play a few games with them live. And I'm very nervous because I don't wanna tilt them as well as at the very end of the video, we'll be hopping into some spectating matches, going over some pro tips in order to dominate with Piper in games. So hope you guys are pumped up. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go. Okay, guys, so heading into our very first match, and guys, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit nervous here, <laughs> just because Jack Cheppo and Crime Man are about 480 trophies above me with Brock, but we're rocking the new star power, and we can test out, see if it's gonna work out well. I just wanna play adequate. I don't wanna hold them back, and that's a good goal to play with when you're playing with good players like this, as well as, um, you guys have heard me say this before, that it's super, super important if you want to get better at the game to play with people who are just a tier above you, because then you can learn from them. But, let's get into it and see if we can't pick up anything from Crime Man with some live gameplay. Um, we'll get into more of, like, tips and stuff that you need to pay attention to with Piper and Bounty, um, in our live matches when I'm not so focused on the game. Um, but, as you can see, stuff's working out pretty well for us right off the get-go. Um... So what I've noticed with Brock's new star power is that it's super incredibly good for the burst damage. Um, so if someone gets super close to us, we can just get straight in their face and burst them down. So it's working out great. Okay, so we'll wait for Brock and we'll do what that what we just literally got done saying. And we should be able to... Okay, we're going to be going down, but that's okay. We didn't have a whole lot of bounty as well as we have a really good lead right off the get-go. Now, I want to record this video tonight because we have one of the best game modes for Piper right now, and that's Bounty. You need to play her in Bounty. Bounty is so incredibly OP, probably like standalone best game mode. I wouldn't play her in any other game mode other than Bounty, unless you are really used to playing with her. Um, you could play like Gem Grab with her um, as the Gem Carry. Looks like we're gonna be going down, maybe we take out the Piper at the last second, did we? Okay, it didn't look like it. Okay, but we do have a good enough lead where we can kind of chill out. And as you can see, Crying Man's popping off with a max bounty. What a legend. Um, I feel like I'm decent with Brock. I'm just not good at landing the supers, which is funny because it literally shoots out like eight different rockets. It's hard to miss, but I still miss. <laughs> so Crying Man picking up star player. Definitely well-deserved. He's super, super good with Piper. But let's hop into the next game. See how we can do. Here we go. Oh, and congrats to Jack Cheppo for getting 1K Colt. That's really, really awesome. All right, so we ended up finding our next match. And guys, keep in mind that it takes a very long time to find these matches, like a good five, six minutes in between. Now, we end up switching lanes. I don't think uh, this was meant by any means, um, but we'll try to make it work. Okay, taking out Piper with that awesome OP star power with Brock um, with the four shots. We can auto aim once we get a little bit close. Um, I'm telling you guys, Brock's star power is one of the best ones uh, coming out of all these brand new new ones. It's so simple, but four shots really makes a huge difference um, with burst potential as well as just being able to get your opponents off guard because the people that you're going up against only have three shots. You have four, so you're able to get uh, better positioning um, over them when they start spamming out their shots. It's very, very easy. Okay, so we're 9-3. We're doing very, very well. We have the most bounty on the team, which is weird. <laughs> so let's see if we can uh, rock this. I'm going to launch my super. Just take him out. Good deal. We're doing good. 15-3. I'm going to try not to die. I want max bounty. Okay. Crow's bobbing and weaving very, very well. And it's weird to see a white crow in game. Um, I feel like a lot of people really don't like the skin a whole lot. Okay, let's try and take out this chain chomp before it gets us. Let's fall back a little bit. We're in the lead, so we don't need to play super, super aggressive or anything like that. We can kind of chill out a bit. Okay, tick heals up super quickly, which is tough for one-shot brawlers like Brock. 
because in between each shot they just end up healing up so it's not going to make a huge difference but we should be okay here we're holding on to our six bounty and not dying which is the most important thing but i would like to get max bounty that's for sure nicely done let's go that's another win we'll hop into one more and then hop into spectating matches here we go okay let's see who's got star player i'm wondering Crying Man, of course. What an absolute legend. Guys, I'm determined to get Crying Man to number one in the world in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Holy man. Alrighty, guys, so we found our next match, and it was literally right off the get-go, which is awesome, guys. When you don't have to sit through matchmaking, it makes life a lot easier. So we're gearing up in the left lane, which I'm a lot more comfortable with, to be honest with you guys. Um, we're up against another bot as well as Tick is throwing in shots sort of in our direction, which makes it a little bit more difficult because then it's too v1 so we'll see what we can do against this brock here we're down one shot okay we almost got him so it's two three we're off to a really rocky start compared to our last two other games but as you can see crying man is kind of picking up the slap we're gonna go in the mid and see if we can do something here okay just kind of breaking up walls as you guys know i suck with brock super probably could have made that a little bit more useful than we did there but hey guys <laughs> we all have deficiencies in brawl stars um let's see we got to kind of support jack up here while they're falling back okay never mind that didn't work out but it was the right thing to do when jack is up there all by himself like that if causes the other team to fall back um and go into like a very awkward situation or positions Okay, Brock is dodging very well. We're literally just walking into the shots. Guys, this is my inexperience showing it uh, on display right now. Um, but I don't want to hold my teammates back, so let's just play as smart as possible. Obviously, the other two are getting kills, so if we're not doing much for our team, we can't play aggressive. As you can see, we're totally getting carried here, but that's the whole point of this video. I don't con consider myself to be like a fantastic player at this game, but... Um, we'll see what we can do with these guys. Okay, so we need to get one kill. So 17-17. If it ends with a tie, that's fine. I don't want to be the guy that causes a loss for our team. If they want to make the initiative to try to get the kill, then they can. Ooh. Nice, let's go. That's all we needed. There we go, guys. Perfect one to end on very rocky we played very very shaky in that game the other brock was outplaying us the entire match um but we managed to pull out the win in the very end op guys i'm getting totally dwarfed by crying man and jack chepo they're in the 1000s i'm at 500 trophies with brock <laughs> absolutely insane okay guys so heading into our match with crying man inspecting this way we can get into a little bit more in-depth tips on how to play so we're in brawl ball now the funny thing is is jack chepo and crying man felt <laughs> confident enough to play with a random on their team now they're up against a really really solid team and they're playing piper in brawl ball so we'll see how this goes <laughs> we're probably gonna end up losing <laughs> so it's one zero now i say that right now just um let someone eat my words for me okay so hopefully hopefully we can catch a win off this so jack chapel ending up blowing up the middle there so people can't hide behind those walls. We have Crying Man trying to control against Yump, which is going to be really, really tricky um, because he is up against a BB. So we'll we'll have to see how this works. <laughs> so with the super, able to damage Yump a little bit here. Trying to control Yump, but they're able to do it. Now they have to go up against Crow. Now the funny thing is, I don't have too many tips with Piper on Brawl Ball. Normally you don't play Piper on Brawl Ball whatsoever. It comes down to skill alone to be able to play uh, a brawler that isn't good on a game mode um, sufficiently and able to pick up wins. So we'll have to see what he does here. Um, so when we're taking a look at Piper on this game mode, um, if you guys happen to try her here, it all comes down to control. So whenever you're playing a Brawl Ball, if, you're, if you manage to kill another teammate, you can then came positioning. So um, as you can see in that situation, they were able to score the ball because all the teammates were dead on the opposing team. Um, so in this situation, you're going to want to play in the mid lane. As you can see, that's what Crying Man is doing. Um, as well as I feel like Colt is a pretty big necessity on the team just because he can destroy the grass so that you can see it. Is able to score almost 
Um, but with, like I was saying before, with Colt, you're able to destroy the obstacles. So then Crime Man then can get a better perspective of the other players in the map and able to land his shots a little bit easier. Um, which is why possibly we saw them struggle right away in the beginning and they scored a really early goal, the opposing team. Um, but with all the grass open, um, basically Jack Chepel makes the Brawl Ball map into a long range bounty map because he's able to see everywhere on the map and land, land his shots and line up his shots. And as you can see, Piper winning in Brawl Ball. I ate my words. Elite, Yump, and Danny are really, really good players and they managed to beat them with a pretty underpowered team comp. So I'm really, really excited to see what they do in the next game. Hopefully they keep switching it up. I thought they were just going to be playing on bounty the entire match. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, guys, so heading into our second match, and man, it's going to take a lot to one-up that last one, and we're in Brawl Ball once again, and guys, please make sure to eat up the gameplay that you're seeing right now, because you will never be able to see a Piper in Brawl Ball at this degree. This is very, very fun stuff, so um, try to pick up as many tips as possible. Um, so as you can see right off the get-go, kind of like in the last game, stuff is a little bit awkward in the beginning because piper it's very very difficult to control your lanes when you can't see where the opponents are so a lot of the stuff is predicated on destroying the obstacles on the map so that crime man is left open to see everyone else on the map um so right now we have tar shadow down we're able to pick up some heals and literally just walk it in with ease let me um spectate crime man so we can see what he's doing right off the get-go so a very easy early goal and what we've been talking about on the get-go is it's tough in the beginning but they managed to score right away um so i think we're in really really good shape moving forward with this game we'll have to see okay so taking a look at team comps we have shelly a piper and a tara so that seems to be really really good if we're taking a look at the posing team comp we have tara primo and i don't know the third it's a carl never mind um so shelly definitely hard counters primo um, and Tara is just a solid pick in Brawl Ball. And Piper, never pick Piper in Brawl Ball, guys, especially if you're inexperienced. Crime Man is a seasoned veteran with Piper in this game, so he can kind of get away with playing a Brawler like this in a game mode that you're not supposed to play them in. <laughs> um, so we're 1-0. We're in the lead, but they're pressuring really, really hard. Primo is going to be really tricky to get away, and they're pressuring like crazy so it's 3v2 hazard able to kick it away which is exactly what you want to do in brawl ball um when you're in a desperate situation just try to get it out of there just clear it even if you have your super kick it away so that you have time to regroup and try to get back into your lanes and control things um so crying man is going to have a really tricky time when he spawns in like this i think this is definitely going to be a goal um, in these situations, when the enemy team is pushing up like that, um, Crying Man is going to be at a huge disadvantage because he's not able to get a lot of damage off against the enemy team because they're super, super close. Okay, so Crying Man able to land a shot on Nita there, able to land a shot on Primo. It's all the jack to control that Primo when he's getting in close. Um, and as you can see, they switch things up. We just kind of mentioned that. <laughs> Instead of Colt, we have Shelly. But Jack is a fantastic player. He can play Shelly for sure. Okay, so we're able to, um, and uh, I wanted to bring this up as well. This is where Piper is going to be able to shine because the map is totally cleared. And it is literally the most OP bounty map for Piper <laughs> at that kind of scale. There's literally nothing, and it comes down to your skill at being able to land your shots up with Piper, which Crying Man is doing a fantastic job at doing it. Um, so right now, it's basically trying to get one person down, so then it's 3v2. Um, and Jack Chapel's able to stay alive with the Band-Aid's help, of course. And now it is 3v0. Super passes, and we should be able to win this game. Yes. Man, they're crushing it in Brawl Ball. This is so awesome. Okay, so match number three, and I think we're going to be still gearing up in Brawl Ball. And guys, I am digging this gameplay. This is the funnest gameplay that I've seen in a very, very long time. Now, we're up against a Crow, a Rico... And I didn't see that last one. I, I believe it's a Tara. But this is a really, really great team comp to play up against in Brawl Ball. Um, because they're all really, really low health brawlers. So Piper can really eat them up. Um, so again, we turn back to the same exact thing that we've been saying in all these matches. Piper's going to have a really, really hard time against these guys right off the get-go. But with Jack Chepo as well, Hazard being able to clear the map a little bit with their supers. Crying Man is going to have a little bit easier of a time. Now, if we really kind of digest this map and kind of pick it apart, I think Piper is going to be somewhat decent. Oh my goodness, Jack Chepel with a really, really good goal there. Um, 
but I think Piper is going to be somewhat decent on this map regardless just because there's a lot of bushes as well as it's a very very long lane right there's not a lot of walls that people can hide behind except in that little middle cube um, you have those really really nice long lanes um, for Piper to flourish on this map especially when the bushes are out of the equation so um, we have a very early go off the get-go it's 1-0 we are 3v1 at this point so we'll see what happens i keep forgetting to follow crying man but in the long run i just manage i just end up going like this and then i have to re <laughs> re uh, establish on crying man um so it really doesn't matter that much um so we're doing really really well here still rico is one shot potential with crying man but they're able to see where crying man is um, and Rico is doing some really OP bounce shots. If you guys didn't know right now, just kind of changing subjects, this is definitely Rico's best map in the entire game. So you'll be seeing Rico being played on this map. And if you want to push up Rico, push him on this map for sure. Um, so we're still doing good. We're kind of playing defensive at this point. We're not really making an initiative to push it up into the other goal, into our goal. Um, just because we have that goal lead and we have a very good control based team comp. Piper can hang in the background and dish off that OP burst damage with that one shot um, huge damage that she has. And then Tara and Shelly are really, really good on this map regardless. So um, each of these guys are one shot, so Crying Man should be able to control. Landing literally all three shots, all two, and still staying alive. Another fantastic game, guys. This is such great gameplay to watch. As you can see, they played up against a really, really good team comp. <laughs> They're nothing to laugh about and beating them with a very unorthodox team comp. So you got to love it. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, so game number four, and we're probably going to be doing uh, one more after this one. We'll have to see how we are on time. So we're against a Mortis, a Shelly, and a Colt. And the Colt is AFK, so that's going to be good for us to be able to um, get some OP positioning right off the get-go. Um, and it really didn't equate too much. <laughs> and make sure to keep in mind that this is a really good team that we're playing up against. Elite is a fantastic player, as well as Omar. And I haven't seen Larry Lobster ever, but he, I'm assuming, is really good if he's playing with these guys. And as you can see, they're off to a really early goal. But Jack Chappell's able to play some stellar defense and waiting for the team to get back in. But still, with Noe Vale, they're able to score really, really early. And we don't have any supers, so we're kind of at the same exact point that we were at beforehand, which kind of stinks. I'm um, crying man going down to the Colt. Jack Cheppo trying to control the Mortis, but taking pressure from the Colt and not able to do a very good job against the Mortis just because it's 2v3, or I should say 2v1, excuse me. Um, Jack able to take out that Mortis very easily. And we'll see what happens here. You can assume, okay, Elite definitely had Band Aid there, which was literally what I was just about to say. Piper able to take out that Shelly. She's kind of that cleanup crew in the background. Um, while Tara and Shelly are kind of on the forefront, um, Piper should be in the background dishing out that damage by very distracted brawlers, which is a very important thing, which I'll be getting into here shortly. I'm just trying to focus on what's going to be happening here. Um, as you can see, the entire map is pretty open for Piper to finally start being OP. Um, so we'll see what happens. So we'll see if uh, this will turn out good. Um, now, what I was talking about um, being like distracted brawlers, you see it a lot in Brawl Ball because there's a lot to focus on in Brawl Ball other than just laning. Um, you have to pay attention to people um, shooting shots, where the ball is positioned. If someone is like a goal scorer pushing up really, really quickly to score a goal, you have to pay attention to a lot of stuff. Um, so a brawler in the background, like a Colt, a Brock, a Piper in this situation is really, really good because... Most of the time, a brawler isn't going to be able to expect what's going to be happening. And wow, that was super, super close. Um, but most of the time, a brawler isn't going to expect a shot in the background or isn't going to be focusing on that long range, high damage dealing brawler to do that chip damage like that. So looks like we're going to be able to score and end this one off. This is so awesome. I love this. Now, I do just want to point this out at that last game. They're up against a really, really crazy good team comp with a very underwhelming team comp once again. Um, so we'll have to see. Maybe Piper is viable on this map, and I'm just kind of delusional. <laughs> um, but what a great game to watch. All right, so as for our final match, we'll have to see. I feel like we've kind of covered all bases here. 
um, we've literally gone up against like the best of the best that last game was literally top tier you can't get any better than that because that Shelly I believe is number one in the world I think the Colt was close to number one in the world with Colt and Mortis is probably like top five so <laughs> that was a really really hard team comp to go up against um, and as you can see this team comp we'll have to see how this goes Shelly able to clear or get a goal right off the get-go super super easily with that OP mechanic where you shoot and then super and the ball goes straight in where you go so um, try to use that mechanic we covered that a lot in our Shelly gun video so if you guys want to cover um, watch that um, make sure to do so if you guys want to play good with Shelly now they're pressuring a lot here but it's 3v1 now and we should be able to pick up and go here at the very end okay so we're pressuring here and tara's got her super it's 3v2 tara dropping down her super trying to take out the shelly doesn't look like she has her band-aid jack rolling in able to take out the bb now it is 3v1 but the crow is able to pick up possession of the ball and kick it away um totally disrupting their aggressive push there in the end which feels bad, man. That was a really, really good opportunity. And keep in mind that we are down, so we have to do something here. We have to do something. Um, and Crime Man picking off some really good shots um, off in the distance. Now, one thing that we kind of got to bring up here as well, it's not all Crying Man. <laughs> Jack Chepel is freaking crushing it up in the back and able to score a really easy goal, 1-1. He was putting on so much pressure there, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, so Hazard got a super. Literally everyone on our team has super and the enemy team does not, which is a very big deal. Um, one Tara super, as you can see, can kind of make the tables turn in our favor. And all he has to do is kick it straight in with a little trick shot. Oh, freaking P. So good. Alrighty guys, so that is going to be a really, really good spot to end the video today. We jumped into a lot of matches, and I think this video is going to be a little bit longer than we have normally, but I had to kind of eat up the content that we had in today's video. There is nothing better than a Piper in Brawl Ball. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you definitely don't want to play Piper in Brawl Ball, but hopefully you could see kind of what you need to do in order to excel with her and the team comp that you need to use in order to do well in game modes that aren't very suited for her. Um, so guys, Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. Really appreciate that. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description down below to Crying Man's YouTube channel as well as Twitter. He has a very, very good YouTube channel. He's been killing it as of recently, and I'd really, really appreciate it if you go send the Ray Fam support over his way. That'd be awesome. So yeah, guys. With that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.